Ukraine has already fulfilled 72 percent of its obligations to the European Union. This is the data from the annual report on the implementation of the association agreement between Ukraine and the EU. According to the document, Kyiv has made the most progress in the following areas – intellectual property, public finance management, justice, freedom, security, human rights and humanitarian policy. Over 90 percent of all requirements and recommendations have been fulfilled and implemented, and all this amid the hot phase of the war unleashed by Russia against Ukraine. The submitted report is the result of great teamwork of ministers, parliament and other authorities. We plan to keep high dynamics of European integration processes. We are completing the implementation of the recommendations of the European Commission, which we received together with the candidacy launched the self-screen procedure for the compliance of Ukrainian legislation with EU law. All these parallel processes are designed to accelerate the next stage, the negotiations on EU membership. Olga Stefanishina, Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration of Ukraine. Not only Ukraine chose the EU, but the EU chose Ukraine. This is evidenced by the results of polls. Thus, according to the International Republican Institute, over 85 percent of Ukrainians support European integration, a record figure. And according to the survey of the Bertelsmann Foundation, integration of Ukraine to the EU in the near future is supported by 65 percent of respondents in the European Union countries. Ukraine has long been de facto integrated into the European Union. The country already receives most of the privileges of the European Union, especially in the financial sector. Brussels has recently transferred another tranche of 1.5 billion euros of its 18 billion microfinancial aid to Kyiv. The allies also continue to provide military support. With that, we help keep Ukraine running while it is defending itself. And we are once again increasing our military equipment support to Ukraine. And in this context, I also welcome the agreement in the Foreign Affairs Council on aiming to provide one million rounds of ammunition to Ukraine within the next 12 months. The European Union plans to confiscate Russian, mostly state-owned, assets in Europe in favor of Kyiv. That's about $350 billion. But Brussels does not hide the fact that it will be not easy to solve the procedural and legal issues. It is a difficult task to find acceptable legal means. I hope we can achieve results during the Swedish EU presidency, which ends in June. Anders Anlid, head of the European Union Task Force in a comment for Euroactive. Ukraine and the EU have extended the Transport Visa-Free Agreement, the Agreement on Liberalization of Cargo Transportation, for another year. Ukraine's progress towards meeting the criteria for European Union membership is impressive, but EU verification procedures should not be accelerated. Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson said the European Union will present its mid-term report on Ukraine's readiness for the EU accession negotiations by the summer. The Ukrainian government has stated that Ukraine Ukraine will finally become a member of the European Union by 2025. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Bezborodko, UA TV News.